Do do di. It's Nandi. Hello, friends. I want to be clear at the outset. I enjoy Tacticus. I think it's a fun game, and all of the people that I've directly interacted with at the company have been pretty cool. Today's video isn't a dig at them, nor their game, but highlights how flawed the hero release event and leaderboard reward system are. The hero release event system hasn't been updated since the game's inception, and I think it's in need of a refresh. If you haven't heard yet, there's been a massive bug with the latest hero release event for the Blood Angels character, Lucian. Today, I'll be going over that bug, the implications for the player base, and why I'm slightly less happy than usual. Snowprint have issued their fix. Most of the details are out there, but this isn't as much about the bug as it is about the hero release event leaderboard. This is just my opinion. You're always welcome to disagree. With the caveats out of the way, let's go. Lucian is being released by Hero Release Event, hereafter referred to as HRE. These are two-week events where you earn event points by simply playing the game. You earn points for completing campaigns, fighting arena battles, guild raids, etc. There are small ways to min-max your progress, but I'm not getting into that here. Generally speaking, your progress is dictated by your available energy, as energy translates to more campaign completion and therefore more points. Well, how do you get lots of energy? If you're a whale, you can use your money and spend loads of blackstone on energy refreshes every day. However, not everyone has the means to complete these expensive energy refreshes. Therefore, a common strategy is to bank your energy before the event starts. Energy hoarding is not by Snowprint's design, but an artifact of players trying to beat the system, further highlighting the shortcomings of the current HRE system. I've had a few questions about what banking energy means, so I'll explain. Once your energy bar is at the maximum, you can spend either add refreshes or blackstone to gain more energy. This energy doesn't deplete, and therefore you can enter the event with a massive store to jump up the leaderboard. The downside is that for the days that you are hoarding energy, you are no longer benefiting from the game's natural energy regeneration. So you lose 288 energy per day during this process. For some, this idea is intolerable. The idea that you can't log in and fight in campaigns for days to weeks is counterintuitive to actually playing a game, and is another example that highlights the weaknesses in the current system. To other players, it is still worth it, because the current HRE system rewards additional event currency based on your leaderboard standing. At the end of each day, you are given event currency based on your leaderboard bracket, and again at the end of each week. These chests are significant and can often be the difference between unlocking the character or taking it to the next rarity. So what was the problem this time? As we've heard from the Snowprint team, players were able to start earning event currency even before the HRE began. The game started counting progress and points once the banner for the Lucian event went live on Thursday, September 5th. Then, after server reset on Sunday, September 8th, once a player had completed some form of game action, whether it was simply refreshing the game, completing a campaign, or fighting in an arena battle, the game updated and gave the player all of those extra points. We've had reports of players starting the event with over 7,000 points, which, while great for the individual, has implications on the leaderboard and the wider player base. It appears, at this time, the players who were most negatively affected by the bug were those that were hoarding energy. By hoarding energy, they couldn't take advantage of the event points accrued from an earlier stage and lost progress, relatively speaking, overall. To my mind, there are two significant talking points to this bug. The first is that the leaderboard metrics are now totally skewed. Snowprint have acknowledged that, and as part of their fix, they are rewarding people extra chalices and points to offset their loss. Great. To me, however, it highlights the problem with these sorts of leaderboard type events. They pit players against one another to unlock and progress their characters. If you don't spend or go hard on these events, your new character isn't as good as your neighbours. That feeling of missing out drives engagement, and ultimately, spending is good for the gaming company. The other issue is that you won't always be able to catch all of the bugs and exploits. Take a look at this chap who has over 100,000 points during the Titus survival event. 
It seems on the surface that Snowprint are doing a good job at catching these outliers. However, I do also know that these sorts of leaderboard type issues were the cause of player exodus in games like Marvel Strike Force and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. The second problem or consequence of this bug is that there is still a huge chunk of event point imbalance between players. We have had reports of players getting between 7,000 and 8,000 extra points compared to other players when that server reset happened on September 8th. That amount of points can equate to a huge amount of chests, which ultimately directly translates to more character shards and more rewards. This paid offer, for example, gives you 300 event currency. All of a sudden, that offer becomes far less attractive when you find out that players have gotten 7,000 points for free. 7,000 points equates to between 500 and 900 event currency, depending on where you decide to slice it. I personally wouldn't be a happy bunny if I paid £20 for an offer only to give me the third of the event points that somebody else got for free. How does Snowprint fix this? Well, they've made their best stab at resolution, and I'll leave it with you to decide if that is sufficient. It's a really tricky one because every player in the game has been affected differently. I think that players will still largely end up where they're supposed to, and overall everyone will get some free shards, some just more than others. Obviously, Snowprint haven't done this maliciously, and they've had a lot to deal with given the recent bugs that they've had to fix with the survival event due to an update with their Unity platform. I don't envy them, and being a game developer sounds like a job fraught with uncertainty and hazard, especially if updates mess up loads of things hours before the release of a new feature. Interest in Tacticus as a game is at an all-time high. My videos are doing better than ever in almost every single metric, and I believe the game is growing, at least based on the data that I have available. I want players who are coming to be able to enjoy a character unlock system that doesn't pit them against one another, and I think it's time to significantly update or get rid of the current HRE system. The leaderboard brackets, and indeed brackets for other game modes like Arena, Tournament Arena, seem outdated and don't reflect this player growth. I rambled for a while, so I'll maybe just leave things there. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. It will be interesting to see if Snowprint changes the event system and payouts in the future. I want to give massive thanks to my Patreons who have given me the platform to continue to do this sort of content. If you are a newer player, I'd love if you could consider entering my referral code as seen here on screen. It earns you 100 Blackstone and supports me in the work that I do. It is single use though, so choose who you support carefully. Bye for now. Do do dee. It's Nandi.